Heathcote is a genuinely caring community. We know our neighbours. We know our local shopkeepers, our bank staff, and we know our emergency services personnel by name. We can rest assured that if we're unwell, our community will look out for us. We'll help each other to get to medical appointments, our pets will be fed, and our groceries will be picked up. I'm Jim Mackenzie McCarg. I live in Heathcote in central Victoria, a caring community and my hometown. In the late 70s and early 80s, there was a reasonable amount of development in the area where people from Melbourne bought holiday homes and weekenders and, and came up on a regular basis and improved the, the, the lifestyle, I guess, of the, of the local population by introducing new ideas and things like that. And eventually, as time moved on, these people retired, sold up in Melbourne and made Heath get their permanent home. And as a result of that, we then gained things like the uh, community house, men's shed, University of Third Age, sewing groups, quilting groups, and all these people get together and look after each other and help each other. And the men's shed are involved with um, the community garden at the local primary school, so you have an involvement there. The children from the local primary schools come to the hostel and inter interact with the residents in the hostel, read stories and just generally talk to people. So it's a very it's a very caring community and there's a lot of interaction between all the generations in the town and, and in particular the new people who move into town are made welcome. And it's made the town such a, a much better place to live in and a much you know it's increased the caring and the responsibility of people to look after each other in the town. Yeah. Currently we have a large number of community groups. We have care and support groups that look after um, people who have or families who are in trouble with sickness and, and things like that. Our local car club provide a, a Wednesday forum for um, the retired men, people, men living on their own, uh, men just needing some company. And most groups do these sorts of things in one form or another. Once a month we have the men from the Heathcote Hostel down and these men live in a very female environment so they get the opportunity to have a barbie lunch once a month with a group of men, talk a bit of men talk, look at cars and reminisce and things like that. We've had a reasonably decent influx of younger people and younger families into our town which then keeps our schools and, and our other organisations and or, you know youth organisations rolling. We have a number of people who live in town. I have three families living over the road from me that have moved in in the last four or five years. They've got children going to our local schools. They're working in Melbourne or Bendigo or wherever, but they've made Heath get their base to live in. And these people add to the town. They keep it young, they keep it fresh. They, and, and it's good to have young people around mixing with the older people and the interaction between the schools and the hostel and those sorts of things are a very important part of the, of the education of our children actually to be part of our community. Yeah. A few years ago a move was made to establish the Heathcote Community Bank as a branch of the Bendigo Bank or part of the Bendigo Banking System. It was very successful and as a result of this um, we have more employment in the town but we also have a bank that provides a huge amount of money back into the community groups within this town. Very supportive of the town and and it, it's just one of the most, the best assets I think we've probably picked up in town in the last few years. We have, we're lucky we have local police who are approachable. We can go and talk to them if we need to or you meet them in the street, you can have a chat. We have volunteer firemen who are available and, and a really intense group of people who work hard to provide the services they do. We have SES who are just ordinary people working who go out and do extraordinary things and they're all available to us anywhere we like you know within the town. We have very active ambulance auxiliary, we have volunteer drivers for the ambulance because there isn't enough staff to do the job and all these people are available to us on a one-on-one -on -one, nearly any time you want and and it, it's always been so in small towns because that's how you operate because so many people mix and move in different areas. But if there's something going on, there's always someone there to lend a hand. I was invited to join the Community Capacity Builders some time ago. 
uh, it's, it's an organisation I think that will have great benefit for the community. Uh, we have a situation now that our community, there's so many groups in the community and there's, and there's so many older people who need help or assistance. Often advice is given and help is given within the groups but it's, it's not always as good as it could be and I believe that by the building of the, capacity, the community capacity builders, if we can enlarge that group to get people to then be part of these other groups, so that the information, good information can be handed out as to what is available through Heathcote Health and the various other services we've got in town, because we've got a huge amount of services in town that an awful lot of people aren't even aware of. And I see the major challenge of this group is to make sure that information gets to the people who need it. Heathcote is home to over 75 community groups. The Heathcote Community Capacity Builders are working to support these groups with the skills, resources and information they need to continue to care for their community. The Heathcote Community Capacity Builders invite you and your community group to join them in making a difference by adopting a caring approach and demonstrating to others that the Heathcote Community Capacity Builders, a caring community model, can also be replicated in any other small rural community setting. Contact us now and find out how.